Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric, and you're here with the investment channel. Guys, today I'm going to be talking about my 12 GPU mining rig, uh, more specifically the RTX 3070s that I um, chose to build my rig. This is my first time building a rig ever, and um, by any means, I'm not no expert. I really I haven't been to crypto not even for a couple of weeks yet. But um, today I'm going to be breaking down a couple of things that I feel like it's very important for me to let you guys know, which is um, how much it cost me to build this rig and how long it's going to take me to break even. Obviously, we won't know for a fact how long it's going to take me to break even, but we can get, I can give you some sort of numbers of like today's numbers. Um, so, yeah, so the first thing I'm going to say is that I had to become not become, but I had to be a little bit more um, creative when purchasing this rig reasons why as you guys know there's a shortage of gpus right now it's very hard to find them you may ask yo you you got 12 gpus all the same yeah and i can explain you guys how i did it um and hint i didn't use no bots and also we know that parts are so expensive from gpus to um the psus which is the power supplies and also like anything that's related to mining we're talking about the the frames we're talking about the um the um, the risers anything that has to do with mining if we compare it back a year ago it's substantially more expensive than today so the number one thing you guys probably want to know is um, how much i spent and i spent eleven thousand one hundred and thirty one dollars and twenty three cents net and i can explain that so technically it cost me gross like everything every little piece that i bought Altogether, it actually cost me about $12,381.23. But I used a credit card, more specifically as the Chase. Uh, so here's the, the credit card that I used. This one right now, they're offering about $100,000. <laughs> I wish. 100,000 points. That's the, um, the sign-up bonus. When you spend $4,000, you'll get you, they'll give you back that um, $1,250, up to $1,250 in travel. And since I do travel, that's basically like a, you know, a real, real cash back to me. Um, so yeah, um, $11,131.23, that's what actually cost me. Reason why it, it could have being less, way less, it could have been $10,000. But as you can see here, I spent a stupid amount of money. I spent $1,310 on two power supplies. Those are the 1,600 watts per power supply. And the reason why I did that, one is because I did not want to go with the server because one, it's in my, it's in my studio. It's right here. I did not want any hair dry going on 24 seven. Also, I do not have any 24 volt outlet in my um, apartment right now and I'm really not trying to do it. So um, I did not want to deal with that. And also we know that the servers, the service power supply, yes, they are cheap and stuff. They do make a lot of noise. They do generate a lot more heat. And also for them to run efficiently, they need that 240 volts so they can get the, the higher voltage, um, watts capacity, okay? So that's the reason why I went with the, the, two, the, the two PSUs, which is um, 1600. Of watts and also because I'm do I am planning on adding more cards but that I'm gonna talk about it later down the video so yeah so guys we know that it cost me eleven thousand about eleven thousand dollars so let's see now how much it's really making okay right now my rig is consuming about one thousand four hundred and fifty two watts um, and is generating a pretty good amount of seven hundred and fifty point three mega hashes I really want to get this to like one giga hashes if it's possible. That's my plan. Um, now let's go into my wallet. Um, so guys, just so you know, I initially started mining with about two cards because that's initially what I bought. And I'll explain you why again down, down the line. And then I added four more cards when I bought the batch of 10 cards because while well, I was still waiting for the power supplies and I was waiting for like the frame and everything, the new frame because the one I had before was the AG, was the AGPU card. So I really got excited and then I throw and I threw the um the, the couple couple more cards and like four cards just tested it out, tested it out. So I ran again for more a couple of days, uh six cards. And then um I believe like about a week ago or so I started running uh maybe not maybe less than that, but I started running like the full card. The full, uh, the full rig. And the thing about me running the full rig, I haven't properly ran it for like, let's say a good two or three days without nonstop because well, it does get a little bit warm in here when it's like a hundred outside. 
nothing I can rub, nothing I can really do about it right now. But I have um, ordered some mini splits. Um, that's like the AC. Uh, it's gonna put me at like 22,000 BTU. So this place is gonna be brick. It's gonna be brick, brick, brick. And that's what I really want. I really want to get this thing running pretty cold or pretty cool. Um, right now, the, um, the temperatures are running from like, I want to say 40, low 40s to maybe 60 degrees from like the card all the way on the right to the, all, and to the one on the left. So guys, as of right now, it's reported that it's making about 750 mega hashes. That's the, av the average 735 and we can see the current that says 722. Well, most of the time, you know, because I've been turning it off and I've been, I've been playing with the overclock settings and all that, I'm saying that it's probably going to be in the 740-ish range. That's probably going to be like the, the real number. Um, but as you can see right here, so it's it's mining about 0.02489 Ethereum daily. If you go into US dollars, it's about $58. So when I, when I started building this, it was actually down to like $42 a day. And um, I got a lot, a lot of backs. <laughs> like people tell me, like so people were telling me, why, why are you building a money right now? Everybody's like not building it. And and because, and to be honest, because th that's the one of the reasons why I started building it is because I saw a, uh, every, I saw a dip on people actually building mining rigs. And then I noticed that the GPUs were coming down. And prices is still not MSRP, but they're starting coming, they're starting to come down. And that was one of the reasons why I really wanted to get this done. And because um, I always wanted to get into mining, I feel like that was a really good opportunity for me to get in. Now, as you can see right here, so it's about daily, $58 daily. Um, let me see if I, I can record this so you can see it better. And if I go to, let's see, you can see right there. So that's 0.02489 Ethereum, that's daily. If we go to weekly, that's 0.17422. And monthly, that's 0.75. That's really good. That's almost one Ethereum a month. I'm, I'm happy with that. Again, I, I don't. Nobody really knows it's going to stay the same. We know that there's um, EIP 1559 coming out and the block reward has been already so low. I really don't see as like a, it's going to maybe, maybe I'm going to go from like, I don't know, 50 something dollars down to like 40 something dollars. That's my thought. Um, and it, that's still pretty decent. And if we go into the US dollar amount, so that's generating about $1,774 monthly. That's amazing. So because for me obviously some people would really want to break break even in like a couple of months or so i mean i believe that anything that can potentially because we know this is not like 100 percent, but anything that can potentially give you your money back within a year that's an amazing investment even so like two years or so but a year that's still a really good investment and um if we did the math if you do the math real, real quick it cost me eleven thousand one hundred thirty one dollars and 23 cents if we divide that by the estimated earnings, that's 1774.61. That will take me about six months, about six months, a little bit over six months to break even. And you may, you may ask Eric, what about um, electricity? I have solar panels. And as of right now, let me see if I can log in right now, right now, so I can show you guys the screenshot of my, how many uh, credits I have on my bill. What I'm trying to say is, it's not gonna really cost me a lot to run this, uh, this rig. And there will be cuts because I'm doing everything as I'm recording this. Uh, I just want to get the most updated um, information as we're going. Okay, so I have it right here. I'm just going to put a screenshot up. Okay, you guys heard that. So I have almost $600 of credit on my bill. That's pretty good, okay? And if I'm not mistaken, this rig probably uses about 4 to $5 a day in energy, okay? Even at that, even at that, it's probably using what, 150 something dollars a month. That's decent. Um, so that's why I'm saying that it's really not gonna cost me anything to really run this. So it will cost me, it will cost me of course, but I'm saying out of pocket or increasing my bill is really not gonna do that. And like, and the reason why I have so much credit and it's, it's gonna keep going higher is because the, the solar panels that I have is way is way more than what I need for my apartment because I still have an idea I do want to purchase a Tesla and obviously this is off topic but my idea is to use money generating uh, passive incomes like let's say the Helium the Helium miners whatever money is, is generating from the, um, the the rig the GPU rig some of it because I do want to hold Ethereum and Bitcoin and I don't really 
like I said before, I'm, I'm going to be converting all the helium into Ethereum and Bitcoin. But some of the Bitcoin and all, some of the heliums I'm going to be generating, because, which is passively, I'm looking to buy a Tesla just so I can put it on Toro to generate more income that's the idea but yeah um that's one of the things i really want to do but we could talk about it later and um and i do want to go back to what i told you guys before how i was able to purchase all the gpus guys i found if you go on facebook mark marketplace try to find people local to you don't try to uh buy directly on facebook marketplace so they can ship you out because i feel i feel like that's like there's gonna be a lot of scams so what i personally did I notice a pattern. There's like this, those people that are always getting those GPUs, you know? So um, one of them, I bought that person that, that I got the deal done. I bought two from him for two, $950 uh, each. And then um, I noticed that after meeting him and talking to him, um, he told me that yes, his son owns a tech company. That's why he's able to get his GPUs and stuff. So I made a connection with them. And then on the next batch, I was I was <laughs> playing numbers with them, and then he told me, "Yes, I'll be able to get you some GPUs." And now I got them down to 850 per each for the 10, so it cost me about 8,500 dollars for the 10 GPUs. So in total, it cost me about 10,400 bucks for all 12 GPUs. It's still not an amazing deal, but it's it's really not. You know, I feel like if I wanted to sell these right now, I'll be able to sell them no problem. But I'm not really looking to sell them, man. Anyways. Um, I feel like GPUs are going to probably come closer to to um, MSRP pretty soon with Ethereum 2.0 coming out. You know, it's it's we know it's they're moving into um, the proof of stake, so we're not going to be able to mine Ethereum when that comes. Ethereum is always late on whatever timeline they're looking to accomplish, so hopefully that happens in 2022 or even like 2023. If not, I'm hearing about a lot of people who are looking to move over to Ravencoin some talking about a theorem classic and a lot of people are also talking about ergo so we'll see i don't think that gpu mine is going to go away i feel like i just wanted to get my feet in um and my latest plan will be adding four more gpus uh, i'll try to get them maybe these ones try to get them closer to msrp um get up because you know when i do get that i'm gonna have to get a new mining frame and hopefully i'm gonna be able to get 16 total gpus running on this one board by getting a uh, pci splitter into it's it's one to four so that way i can connect one because now i'm using 12 i have one left which is the 13 is the very last one if i add an extra one that's four and i can add four more cards so total i'll be at 16 gpus and i should work perfectly especially because i, I believe the gpu um i mean the cpu supports up to a 16 uh, PCI Express. That's, I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I'm, not a, I'm not technical on these things, um, but hopefully that works out because I, I am trying to get into the one giga hash club. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Hopefully that was not really too long. Give you a breakdown on how much um, I spend, give you a breakdown on how much I'm making how, and how long it's gonna take me to break even on this. And, um, and just a backstory of like how I was able to get these um, GPUs. Guys, if you like the content, go ahead and please like, subscribe, comment, let me know that um, you're watching my videos. I'm trying to get back here on YouTube. I've been off now for about two months or three months. I do, I do like the stock market. I do like the crypto market. As you can see, like if you go back to my videos, I bought Qcoin at like 78 cents and then I was able to um, sell it at around anywhere between 10 to $20. One of the reasons why I was able to build this rig and I was able to get so many uh, hotspots, which is um, the Bobcat. Guys, thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.